Hey YouTubers and everyone in the world, today is October the 7th. The time is now 4.30 p.m. guys. It was a character building busy Friday for me all day. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you guys can see more of me. And make sure to visit my website, adaycreations.com. Now today's topic is going to be quite interesting. We're going to be talking about my partner cheated on me. What do I do? So yes, we need to know what to do, how to handle these situations when they occur if they occur now the first thing you want to do if you found out that your partner is having an affair guys is find out why it happened like we all know that things lead to situations like this and it's very unfortunate but it's the truth like you have to sit down with your partner and find out hey why did this happen what's going on like you know what led up to this point now, the second thing you want to do, guys, if you find out that your your partner cheated on you, is remove temptation temptations to re-engage with the affair. That means that if you decided to move on, right, you have to get it in your mind that this is not something that you can constantly bring up to them, throw up in their face, to start an argument, to start a fight. This is something that you have to be able to move on in peace. That's if you can. So... Not only is it important to sit down and find out why the situation happened to begin with, like what led up to that, so you can avoid that in the future if you guys stay together, but it's also important to realize that if you decided to move on with that relationship, that you can't constantly be bringing it up. Because if you're constantly bringing it up, then it's only going to cause that situation to happen again. Because you're pushing them into someone else's arms. Now, the third thing you want to do if you found out that your partner is cheating on you guys is decide whether you will be able to move forward in peace. And I feel like this one is so very important because a lot of times I've noticed that people decide to stay in these relationships because they are afraid of being alone or they don't want to see that partner with someone else or you know, maybe they don't see themselves with someone else. But the point is, if you cannot move on in peace and you feel like you're going to constantly bring it up, then maybe it's time for you to reevaluate if that's a relationship that you want to be in. Because if if this person cheated on you multiple times with multiple different people, then maybe that's a clear sign that you guys were probably not meant to be together and you'll probably be better off with someone else. But if it happened with like one person, maybe one time or maybe twice, sometimes mistakes like this happen and it's not okay, but it does happen. But the thing is, the question is, can you move on in peace? You know, is this a way, is there a way that you guys can rekindle, you know, the sparks between you guys and actually make the relationship stronger than it was before? So that's, that's the real key, like moving forward in positive ways. But if you, if you cannot move on in peace, then you have to really like decide that maybe it's time for you to let this go. Now, the fourth thing you want to do if you found out that your partner is cheating on you guys is be selective about who you tell. Like, I feel like a lot of times people tell their business to the wrong people and that's a problem because now you have different people with different opinions and sometimes you may be getting a... The, an opinion from someone who you know really is not that intelligent when it comes to that field or maybe it's a sexist thing like maybe they're going to be on your side automatically because you guys are the same sex or whatever the case may be it really depends on like who you're telling but be selective with who you tell your business to don't just tell that to anyone like you got to tell it to someone who you know that you can trust their opinion, you can trust the facts, you can trust that they're going to help you through this, they're going to give you like the best advice possible. Don't trust people that run their mouth all the time or people that you just feel like you know for sure they're going to throw it up in your face just to be mean. Like you have to be selective with who you tell these things to. Now, the fifth thing you want to do if you found out that your partner may be having an affair, guys, is consider going to therapy. Now, if you guys decided to stay in that relationship, not only is it really important for you guys to sit down and have a civilized adult conversation between you two, but maybe it might be better 
if you go to therapy, like it'll, it'll give you an opportunity to get a little bit more comfortable. And the therapist will probably ask you guys questions to, to really get down to the core of things and find out what led up to this situation to begin with. Because remember, this is not something that just happened overnight. This is something that's been building up over time and eventually it got to a point where that person felt like they needed to step out. And that's a problem. But now that we know what the problem is, we have to find the solutions to that problem. So yes, consider going to therapy, you know, sitting down with a therapist. Maybe you guys can go as a couple or you can go individually and then, you know, go together as a couple and really be able to open up and express what's going on inside. Now, this is the last but not least, guys. This is our bonus for today on my partner is cheating. What do I do? This is the key. You have to decide whether that relationship is worth saving. If you guys have been together, you know, four or five years, you guys have kids, maybe you have been married for a few years or whatever the case may be, is this person worth going through the ups and downs? Is this person worth, you know, fighting for? Is this person worth you changing your ways or that person changing their ways for you guys to rekindle things and make the relationship work? I feel like a lot of times, especially with men, they feel like the grass is green on the other side. Oh, this girl looks so good and she has this and she has that. But guess what? That doesn't mean that she's compatible with you. That doesn't mean that she's going to be as patient with you as the person you are with right now. So I feel like it really is important for you to decide if that relationship is worth saving. And if it is, it's going to take time. It's going to take patience. It's going to take consistency. It's, it's going to take work. So you have to decide if you're willing to put 110% into that relationship to make it work. So those are the main things that we wanted I wanted to discuss with you guys today on how to save your relationship or if you found out that your partner is cheating, you know, these are the things that you need to consider if you want to keep the relationship or if you want to walk away. So, yes, I hope that everything that we discussed today helps open your eyes to my my partner is cheating. What do I do? And um, if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up, guys. And like I always say, like, comment, and subscribe because there's so much more great content to come. And not just that, make sure to visit my website, adaycreations.com. Until the next video, guys, peace.